if you get folks who are dangerous and violent and you get them out of prison, I can guarantee you that some of those people are going to break the law again. And that is exactly what we are seeing. Some in the crime fighting community are calling this dangerous territory, the release of federal prisoners because of COVID-19. Federal authorities say they are getting inundated with these requests and seeing the crimes firsthand after some are released. Local four defender Karen Drew has a closer look at what is going on. According to federal prosecutors, Dr. Fareed Fada victimized 553 patients, ordering at least 9,000 unnecessary infusions or injections, including chemotherapy for people who did not have cancer. He pled guilty and was sentenced to 45 years. But now, because of COVID-19, he wants to be released early. He doesn't deserve to be released. That's Geraldine Parkin. She says her husband, Tim, was diagnosed with cancer and was in remission when Dr. Fareed Fana continued cancer treatments for about nine months. Tim was just filled with poison. That's what happened with many, many, many of Fana's victims. She wants Fana to serve every single day of his 45-year sentence. He took an oath and he broke that oath. He has no remorse. The only remorse he has is because he got caught. But according to this motion filed on his behalf, Fada feels he should be released early because of his deteriorating health, which includes type 2 diabetes, gastrointestinal bleeding, and early dementia. The motion states Fada is at significant risk of infection, in part because of his age. He is 55 years old. The request goes on to state Fada has been a model inmate. This is one of the difficult situations we have right now with somebody like Dr. Fada. Normally, you would have a, a hearing where victims could come into the courtroom and they could express their views and they could take the witness stand and explain their, uh, their concerns. Now we're doing it all electronically. As far as the doctor's request to get out of prison early? I can't comment on pending litigation like that, but I mm -hmm. can tell you that we take a careful look at every one of these cases and we always have the victim's mindset first and foremost. Geraldine hopes the court remembers the 533 patients like her husband Tim who were overtreated and or misdiagnosed when they think of granting the doctor early release. His request is labeled compassionate release due to Corova-19. I put in there that he had no compassion for the pe his victims his patients. He took an oath. Dr. Fareed Fana pleaded guilty to multiple counts of fraudulent billing, participating in a kickback scheme and money laundering involving $34.7 million. Karen Drew, Local Four Defenders. And the U.S. Attorney's Office has until next Tuesday, May 19th, to respond to Fada's request for release. The Local Four Defenders will stay on this and let you know what happens.